רון, אתה שומע אותי? כן, כן, אתה שומע אותי? כן, עכשיו כן. אהלן, בוקר טוב. מה שלומך? ברוך השם. כל מה שאתה אומר יכול לשמש נגדך בבתי משפט, אני מקליט אותך. אני מנסה, אני מנסה, בסדר. מה אתה תנסה? אוקיי. אני עובר לאנגלית, בסדר? אני, בסדר. אוקיי. So, ah, uh, we're going to have a bit of technicalities problem, but I, I, it's going to be much better than yesterday, for sure. Uh, you remember yesterday, right? Uh, so, I'm going to share my screen now. I'm using, uh, I'm not a schizophrenic, I don't have two personalities, I just have two computers. Uh, From watch one of them I'm going to share my screen and uh, you do see it right see something yes I hope it's your screen <laughs> yes <laughs> what else <laughs> can it be uh, and now <laughs> uh, this is a, a screen I, I'm going to use the light for just a minute uh, in order for me this will be my board. also yours if you want you know we you can also write on it if you want um let's see so uh, uh, it's it requires some record uh, some skills of like doing several things at once like Not, okay. not good for male, right? Okay, so AI. Okay, so the field of AI, what is it? Artificial intelligence, uh, let's draw it here. It's, it's not a well-defined uh, field. It's like all the endeavor attempts to uh, write computer programs that uh, performs cognitive uh, tasks or That imitate co- cognitive task and uh, let's say we know what what it is never mind and we are going to talk about a subfield of AI if this is a AI the field of AI you do see my screen right yes yes okay so a subfield of it will be the ml which stands mm-hmm. for a machine language a machine learning sorry and Uh, machine learning is a field is a subfield of AI in which we try to write programs that uh, learn... try not to put your hand in front of your mouth thank you okay now it's better no just when, when you put your hand uh, over your mouth I hear less well uh, okay fine thank you for saying that uh, so uh, machine learning is a field of In which we try to write computer f- programs that uh, learn learn from experience learn from examples learn from finding patterns this is machine learning and uh, we're going to talk about a subfield of machine learning which is called deep learning deep learning it's a technique that Deep learning is like a fancy term for neural network. Okay? Okay. Why they call it deep? Never mind now. Because you don't know what's going on there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, we use deep neural network, but never mind. It's, it's just a hype, basically. Okay. And so so uh, deep learning is a technique for machine learning, which is... Uh, the most uh, successful one in the last decades. Many of uh, the new technologies that we see that actually work are uh, using deep learning. And a uh, neural network is, um, is a technique that was inspired by our brain, by biological uh, mechanism but it's only an inspir- inspiration it's like 
you know, the the wings of a bird of a plane is was inspired by the wing of a bird, but it's it's using the same principle, like the levitation principle is the same, not exactly the same because the the plane does not move its wing. They right? don't move the wings of the airplane. But still, you know, there's still a similarity, right? Because yes, yes, the, of course. Yes. okay, it's a nice metaphor. Yes, okay. It's not mine, but it is good analogy. Uh, yes, so uh, this is deep learning. And I want us to start with a very basic uh, example of uh, a machine learning task, uh, which is uh, distinguishing an image of a dog from an image of a cat. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very common way to uh, introduce the subject. So consider uh, you have image of a, uh, I will draw here for my best abilities. This is a, a dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know my dog, uh, Gadi, right? Uh -huh, yes. So this is a very accurate picture of uh, Gadi. Okay. <laughs> I hope he will recognize himself here. He's not able to recognize even a, an, a photo of himself. Do you know that? I, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm not sure about mirrors. It's very interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, put, yeah. He, this, you cannot recognize Daddy, right? But... Since you tell me that this is him, I believe you. Yeah, okay. after I told you, you are able to recognize. That's true. So this is an image of a dog. And exactly like you said, I'm telling you, that it, it is a dog. So it is a labeled example, okay? And now I will give you a labeled example of a cat. So what's the difference between, can you explain someone what's the difference between a, a, do, a an image of a cat and an image of a, a dog? Can you give a, like instruction? A cat is really smaller. Uh, his ears. Not ears. always, not always. Not you know always, about Chihuahua, often, right? Yes. You know Chihuahua. Okay, yeah. so size is not such a good way of distinguishing them. Yeah. This is a very accurate image of a cat, you see. And the ears are more sticking out. Okay. And, uh, so, I mean, never flabby. Do, do, let me ask you this. Do you feel you can write an algorithm to distinguish? Of course between... not. Of course not. It will be similar to writing an algorithm to to recognize a person, which nobody can. Uh, I mean, you can well, use... Uh, nowadays, nowadays it, it's extremely simple to produce such a program, but not by writing an explicit algorithm, you know. The computer will do this, will do this for you. You write the program for what? I, I never understand what people mean by saying that computer will do it for you. Computer do what we tell him. No, no, no. But uh, you can write a program that makes the computer, makes some other program, write a program for recognizing a person. Okay. Uh, what let let me is... tell you what I think. I think we can use machine learning technique uh -huh. We can use, we can write a program that will see many, many labeled examples, as I just uh, draw, and that will be able to generalize and to under, and to be able to distinguish correctly between an image of a dog yes. and an image of a cat, which is more or less the way you you are able to do it right now, right? Yes. How do how can you distinguish a cat from a dog? Because you've seen many labeled examples, right? I cannot formulate verbally how do I do that. No, definitely not. The I can in my mind is too complicated. Sorry? But I I will I will not be able to formulate what I've just uh, what I'm about to do. I will not be able to formulate and explain you what my computer will do exactly, right. but I will write a program that will see many labeled examples mm -hmm. and will be able to perform the task. Mm -hmm. So it's more or less 
the situation you are in right now. You, you are able to uh, uh, perform the task without being able to explain how you do it. Right. Okay. I wonder if at any stage the explanation will also come. Well, I don't I didn't understand what you just said. Is it possible that in 10 years, the program about dogs and cats will be will write you the specifications of what happened there and how come and by what characteristics uh, you, did, you distinguish between the two? Uh, it will be very, very long, but perhaps, and perhaps not for humans. I mean, it will write a list of instructions that only a computer can handle because it will be so complicated and long. But it will, after the other computer will get this list of specifications, which is explicit. Uh, it will know how to understand. In a way, this is the situation today. Like today, after my program, we'll see many, many examples. It has a formal representation of what uh -huh. it it learn and it can explain other computer. It is not readable by human and it is not, it doesn't make any sense to us, but it's completely formal, it's just number. I will show you everything. I mean, it's very, it... very simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. Uh, this question, which was a good question, will be crystal clear after I, I will explain the technique, okay? Okay. So, um, what we are trying to do is kind of a mapping, right? Like, suppose we had such a program, let's see. Suppose this is our computer here. This is our computers. Uh, it will be given a, I, I will treat it as a mapping or a function. X, X will be the given a, that will be an image, okay? I will give it an image. Oh, sorry about that. I will give it an image and it will just output a Y, which will be a, just a cat or dog, two options, yes. okay? Okay. It is a function, right? So one minute, this is your, the example you give him. This is for learning, this is... No, no, no. I'm talking about suppose we 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 manage to 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 fulfill this task of uh, writing a, a classifier that distinguishes so a dog from a... Uh, you're now looking at the outcome. So that's what your aim is, your goal. Yeah, right? that's what my yes, that is my okay. aim. So my aim is is a function, right? Yes. Okay, a function. Uh, an image can be represented as a vector of number or matrix, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the output Y can be represented either by zero or one or other uh, mathematical representation, right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, and each uh, label uh, examples, suppose we have many, many of those, right? Mm -hmm. each, each label example is actually a pair, X and Y, right? Yeah. X is an image, Y is a label, okay? You're now speaking about the, the final outcome or the way you use you, the examples that you feed uh, the program with? Now I'm, I'm just formalizing our discussion. I, I say that I'm... So I'm this is you're, it's, you're still in the goal, you're still in... Uh, not to how you uh, get it, but I'm not. I, I I didn't fulfill the goal, but I'm saying that I'm looking for a function, and mm -hmm. the data set of those labeled uh, images can be viewed in this context of a function as a pair x y pair. Yes, but why did you write x i y i? Because you're going to have many examples. Exactly. I, I am going examples to examples are those with you, which you feed the program, not the. Yeah, that the will examples. be the. Yeah, that that will be the this training. This is the learning. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, let's call it training because learning is like a big word. Training is more modest, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna 
first we can collect this data set pretty easily. I can uh, take picture of my dog. I know it's a dog, so I will label it as a dog and I will go to many cats. I will, uh, I, I can construct such a data set, right? Mm -hmm. So now okay. you're describing now, the training uh, scheme. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, this setting we are dealing with here now is called supervised learning. Yes. Okay. Because, uh, because we have X and Y. We have uh, the image and what is the correct uh, label. Uh, there are other settings that we are not, we will not talk today about, but uh, this setting is called supervised learning. And when you have the, and one. the task of the teacher is very simple, unlike, unlike in reality. In, in, when you teach your student, you have to work hard. Here, you know, you just give them, <laughs> give the program uh, in Paris. Okay. You know, uh, the the task of the the teacher can be even easier than that in a setting called supervised learning. The way uh, we supervised. teach our children, we Sorry. just tell them go to play and see if you enjoy it or not, and I will tell you nothing. So this is an easier way of being a this <laughs> in 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 machine lang language. This uh, setting is actually considered the hard way of being a teacher because you need to supply uh, specific answers. Uh -huh. There is another another setting which is called unsupervised learning, which you don't, you just supply the Xs. And there is another setting which is called uh, reinforcement learning in which you just uh, supply an environment and a reward function. How good was you? Uh -huh. So in, in this uh, context, uh, supervised learning requires from the teacher to to have many uh, x and y it's a lot of work yes. sometimes okay but but you are correct that in real life teacher must do more than give an example generally right or okay. specific example and the correct answer right right you, you you've yeah. been a uh, teacher apart from when you teach a little child what is a cat and a dog you just do this very supervised learning just you encounter animals and you tell them this is the cat. Okay. Uh, so I didn't I, understand what you just said. Can you repeat it, please? I, I'm saying that the way we teach little children what are cats mm -hmm. and dogs, what is a cat and what is a dog, is just that. We just tell him. Yeah. We never go into, the, into any explanations. We just tell him this is a cat. This is a dog. Right. E exactly that. But with our little children, we do more than that. You also tell them you've been a good boy or bad dog, uh, bad, <laughs> bad uh, boy, <laughs> and you don't explain exactly what to do, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, okay. So uh, this is kind of a complicated function we're dealing with because x is a if it's a vector, it's a, a vector mm -hmm. of a multi multiple dimension. Uh, mm -hmm generally a lot of dimensions. And mm -hmm. I want to uh, our discussion to be very, very simple. So mm -hmm. let's uh, abandon this example for now and mm -hmm. deal with a much, much simpler example in which we are trying to uh, learn the simplest uh, function possible. A function from a number, a single number to a single number, okay? It, you understand? So yes, yes, I will yes. uh, now uh, not. You're not talking telling me what function, the function is. Now I will tell you exactly, but I I I want to move to a more a uh, simple domain in which we have many tools to to deal with. So you know, in a school. We learn about generally in school we talk about function from a number to a number, right? Mm -hmm. X is a number, Y is a number. And suppose you are giving many many examples like before, uh, uh, like this is an example and X and Y. I'm gonna put here a cloud of uh, example, labeled example, X and Y dot. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
each one is a little x. And now let's see, let's say, suppose you are trying to fit a function to this cloud of uh, dots. Mm -hmm. um, so let, let, let's uh, formalize it. Like we have uh, x1, uh, y, y1 till uh, ma many, many dots until uh, x n, y n. Uh, let's call that the cloud, okay? The, uh, let's call this, uh, this group the cloud. I will call it uh, C. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to fit a function, but not any function. I'm going to uh, select a, or consider a specific family of a function. I will use only a, a second order polynomials, like, uh, I mean, uh, parabolas. And uh, I will even restrict this family more. I would say that I'm looking for a function that look, looks like that. This is f of x equals to a x square plus uh, b x. And I could have uh, write plus c, but I want to fix the other parameter. I want to have only two parameters. You will understand later why I want that. And I will uh, make it uh, minus two. It's an arbitrary number. So the family of uh, parabola that I'm picking from is this family. Uh, so maybe I will find something like this, this parabola here, which I will call a good fit, okay? Okay. Now I want to illustrate it uh, using uh, GeoGebra. Do, do you know GeoGebra? Yes, yes. I really like this program. Uh, let me grab a mouse just a minute. Now it requires some uh, coordination. Uh, do you see, see? You still see my screen, right? I see your screen and it has become yeah, more one. Do you now. see my screen? Much nicer than before. Okay, so I, I, I much nicer. It was Why a very beautiful so nice? picture. Okay, now. You surprised me. Okay, what's so beautiful about it? Anyway, you uh, didn't see it. I'm I, going I to... saw it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> ah, you, ah, you know what you were talking about. The, the yeah, scenery. scenery. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a minute. I have, oh, I'm in Hebrew. Um, I'm going to add two parameters. This is A, this is B. And I'm go uh, let, let me make this a little bit bigger. And I will write the function f of x equals a times x square, right? Uh, plus bx minus two, a minus two. Okay, so I have two parameters. Now they are set to one and one. And that's a, a parabola that I get, but I can change the parameter. Look, I, you see that I'm changing it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, most probably you know the effect of A. Do you know the effect of B of the on the parabola? It will affect the apex, no? Minus B C, or to A. C will affect, C will affect the y, y position, right? Like if I do, instead of minus two, I will, let's change that. Like it, uh, I will do minus four, it will lower it. But mm -hmm. what's the effect on B? Um, it's not clear. They will tell you where the apex, no? The minus B over 2A well, is... I, I will apex. just show you. Now I'm changing B. You see what it's, it does to the function? 
It's not obvious because it's not a convenience, a pragmatic way of uh, mm -hmm. writing it. Uh, mm -hmm. So it, it has a parabolic effect or something like that. Okay. Uh, if I want to see the whole family, I can do it uh, in a way like um, I will add a trace here. Just a minute. Now, if I change it, you see, I, I see all the. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a way to, to see the, the family the parametric mm -hmm. family, you, you see it? Yes, yes. But okay. it's, it's not such a nice thing. So I, I will remove the trace, just a minute. Okay. Um, now we, we were talking about a cloud of points, right? We mm -hmm. want to fit the function too. Let, I don't want it to get uh, too complicated, so I will just, uh, at three point, but imagine there are many of them, okay? Okay. So I will add the three point. Uh, just a minute. This is one, it is called A, this is B, and this is C. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, now, uh, is it obvious how to fit the function into those, uh, uh, let, let's try. So uh, the A should be negative, right? Because it's a crying parabola, right? Uh, why is it crying parabola? Uh, I want to fit the function into A, B, and C. Yes. If uh, you will yeah, it will be crying, yes, okay. Yeah, but uh, you, you force your, your uh, parabola to go through. So you have only two parameters for your formula and you, you want three yeah. fits. Most probably there won't be a, a function that will match them uh, exactly, right? Because exactly. I just draw it with my hand. But I, I'm looking for the best one. Okay. In, in order to uh, well define what do I mean by best one, I need to, to define a metric or some kind of criteria of uh, mm -hmm. distance between the function and the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I try it by hand, I don't know if it's, mm, it's, it's pretty hard. Maybe I won't find a very good solution. I don't know. Uh, maybe I need to make it the A more like, uh, I don't know. Okay. Maybe you it's not possible to. Perfect one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let, let's uh, define a, a, a distant criteria between um, uh, the, the, the function and the, the cloud. I will uh, write you a, now a, a criteria. Let's call this function a loss okay? because loss is like, uh, we will treat the, the distance as the, something we, we want to get rid of him. So we call it loss, mm -hmm. and it will be a function that get A and B, those two parameters, right? Um, I will also uh, put C here. C is a constant, right? The, the cloud the points. Okay, and I will define it as follows. Uh, it will be a sum on all points of uh, the vertical distance between f of x uh, i minus uh, y i square. Okay. A y square, uh, I could have taken like the absolute value of it also, right? Yes, but it's more convenient to do with the smooth function. Yes, okay. Well, why, why is it more convenient? It's it's differentiable, for example, the function. What, sorry? It's differentiable, you can differentiate if you want to apply calculus. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. I, I need it to be differential. But you know, it's also like, uh, it has a meaning that like, uh, 
large deviation matters more, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not always what I want, but I I I must have it uh, uh, being able to to the derivative. So I will use this uh, metric, yeah, and you know, cool. in uh, everybody in does it. You're, I'm allowing you to do it as well. Uh, yeah, it's common, and yeah, in optimization problem, if you are using a, a how do you call it? A, least squares a function that is monotonic mono activate a monotonic, monotonic function over this loss it will not change the result of the optim optimization okay. right okay so uh, this will be our function let's go back to the geogebra um, i will now uh, write the loss uh, function here so the loss by the way, I, you, you're speaking through water. It sounds to me like that. Something is wrong with your uh, audio. System. Sorry? My voice? The problem is with, with my voice? No, no, not is your voice. Still... Something you... it's, uh, now it's okay, but you know, sometimes it's, it sounds as if it's going through water. Maybe it's a communication problem. I'm not sure. Perhaps. Yeah, now it's okay. Okay. Okay, fine. So loss will be uh, like the distance, the vertical distance between A and the function. Uh -huh. uh, the Y of A in GeoGebra, I can write it like this. You see Y of A is like that, minus F of uh, X of A. So it's, it's pretty hard to understand like that. Oh, sorry, just a minute. Again, y of a is like the second part of a. Ah, it was clear? Uh, x of a. a. Yes. And I will... Square it. Uh, I will need to square it. And I will need to write it uh, for b and c. So y of... Uh, a b minus f of x of b mm -hmm. square plus the same thing for c uh, so uh, y of c minus uh, f of x of c square. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the last function. Now it's 71, you see, but I can uh, uh, move, I can change, I will now have it for any setting of x. You see, it, it's calculated the distance. Yes. Actually, you know, something nice, I can even draw the function uh, Look what I will do now. This will be nice. I, I didn't think of it before. I will do. Uh, hmm. and, 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 and. Let's do something like this. This is a little bit weird. Uh, X and loss. I will draw this point, which he calls D. Where is D? It's far away, right? Uh, but I will make it uh, traceable. I will use trace. I, I will also change its color to red, so make it very apparent. And let's see, I will change uh, X and Y and we'll see some change. It. Uh, I guess it's, it, it's, it's, it's uh, a large lot. <clears throat> Just a minute. It, it, it's, a, it's a problem of scaling. What uh, are you I'm, trying to do? And I'm not, I'm not oh, here it is. Here it is. Look, uh, it's not a way, uh, it, it's not a good representation. What I, you, you see this D moving? What is it, this D? <laughs> okay, L let me explain what I've tried to do. Uh, for each uh, setting of A and B, I have a loss here that I calculate, right? Okay. 
it's a number, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm dealing with an optimization problem. I'm looking for the best A and B that will give me the minimal loss, right? So what is D's A in loss? Where is B going? <laughs> D is my uh, very poor way of uh, visualizing it. I I I told George Bra to uh, to write A and the loss and, only. Okay, but but it's not right. I, I because actually I need a, a three a dimension to draw it. I need a dimension for A. I need a dimension for B, and the value mm -hmm. will be the loss because. I'm playing with those two values, and for each two values of this, I have. But why a, are the a a's always zero in your picture? You see, they're all on the it's zero. Not always zero. It's just small. You see now because the, oh, I'm see. playing okay. with okay. it. It's it's just a matter of scaling. Actually, yeah, yeah, I, okay, I okay. Have, it, it's it, a it matter to you know, smear it to the, to to widen it, and then you'll see it better. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a bad representation. Forget about. It. Let, okay. let, let's talk about it in a more uh, like a clear fashion. So, um, oh, okay. You see, uh, oh, we are here, now. So far, this is the point to which I understood. This you want to minimize the to, to do least squares uh, approximation. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So now I will draw this function that I'm interested in. Uh, sum of squares. Pardon? It's least sum of squares. Okay. That's, That's yeah. I think the, so the name. A will be the A parameter, B will be the B parameter, and this will be the loss. Okay. Mm -hmm. For any setting of uh, A and B. Mm -hmm. I can calculate the loss. I just did it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if so I will look surface at... there. Yeah, exactly. There is a surface. Let's you say it was something. Go down on the surface. Exactly. I want to find uh, the minimum uh, 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 height uh, on this surface. So, you know, uh, this is something that I don't need to teach you because it's you, you've been teaching it before I was born, I guess. Uh, this is like multivariable uh, calculus. Mm -hmm. But uh, let, let's do a recap on this for people that are watching. Um, let's uh, take an example. Um, you know this site, uh, uh, Amudana. Have you ever seen it? Yes, of course. Yes, but um, <laughs> I'm confused much before. Ah, you're a traveler. Sorry? You're a traveler. You, you're a hiker. Yeah, you, 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 of course. Uh, yeah. You know, you have, you have uh, Rofe, the one who did it. It's a really nice job, I think. Uh -huh. You know okay. the guy that did this uh, site? No, I like the name. <laughs> ah, you are. Okay. Uh, it's really nice. So uh, this is a topographical uh, map. One minute. Which... Ah, Ofe is somebody from a lot. There is a family. Okay, never mind. Continue. He he learned physics. I don't think he learned math. Okay. Uh, so I don't. Okay. So uh, topographical uh, uh, maps um also a presentation of a surface, right? Yeah. And uh, each, uh, how do you call these ISO lines or contours? So how do you call the, the level line? I mean, uh, level lines. Okay, so what? Uh, that's the from Hebrew. Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I will try to find it out. So uh, to look it up. Uh, so each line like this is the line that if you will go uh, along, you will not change your height, right? Yeah, but oh, can I stop you for a minute? Because I lost yeah. you at a very basic uh, point, yeah. which is you're, you're trying to find the best A and B that I grant you. Yes. But you're I'm, going I'm to look for this, uh, the lowest point here, right? Yeah. Like the minimum of this function, yes. What were you asking? 
Uh, one minute. So you have your given data is this all these uh, cloud of XIs and YIs, right? Yeah, and the cloud. We call it to, cloud. With respect to this. Okay, understood. So you're given yeah. lots of points. This is the crucial point for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're given lots of data, namely examples to learn from, uh, XI, YI, and you want to find the A and the B that best fits this data. Exactly. Yeah. This particular... Okay, this, this is the main point here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you're right. So, so now here, we have here on... Did you see my computer? Sorry? Pardon? And here on, it's the problem yeah. of how, the, you the do, cloud uh, how to optimize, and this is the... Okay, you can tell me how, we, it, how you optimize. Yeah, okay. so... The cloud is fixed. I don't change it. It's like my data. Uh, I I draw it here as the, those little axes. It stays mm -hmm. into the place, and I'm looking for the best fit. And mm -hmm. now I I uh, I draw a completely different function uh, graph. It's A and B and loss. Okay, and mm -hmm. I'm looking for the lowest point in this graph. Right. Yes. The, if the I find the this mountain, yes. Yeah, the lowest point on this surface. And if I find it, I will find what I wanted, the best function, right? The best, the best A and B, yes. The best what? A and B. The yes. best A and B. Yeah, the best fit. It's exactly. determine your function. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, so... I mean, now in the a problem of finding the lowest point on a surface. So I'm talking about a map just to illustrate some idea from a calculus that you are familiar with. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I want to talk about the concept of a gradient. Uh, let, let me try something here. Just Indeed, every hiker knows what to do. He wants to go to the lowest point, so he goes in the stiffest direction, which is, of course, not guaranteed to work because perhaps you're going to go exactly. in the local okay. minimum. You, 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 you got that's what people yeah. do. Yes. You're, you're moving going. ahead now. Uh, you, you're absolutely right in everything that you said, but for you, it's trivial. Uh, I'm not no, sure. No, but for hikers too. Every hiker. For hikers, it's uh, obvious for hikers that if you want to find the highest mountain, you should be greedy about it. Yes, I think. I mean, for at least no, stupid I think hikers. A good hiker will not be so greedy. No, no, but stupid hikers. Stupid hikers. <laughs> that's what they do. Okay. A stupid one. Okay, so uh, this is a, a. Oh, shoot. Just a minute. Uh, let me save this because I have some a technical problem here. Just a minute. Uh, save as. I don't want to lose everything that we did. Uh, but Mr. Ramon, Ramon, Mahtesh, how do you say Mahtesh? Mahtesh, wow. Uh, crater? Crater. Yeah, right. Crater. crater yeah. But this uh, is not a good example because you can fall in a crater. It's a, crater. <laughs> it's a great example. It's you don't a great want to example. Do that in your program. I, you, you, how do you know what I want to do in my life? Maybe I want to fall. Just a minute. Uh, can I write it? I will call it one one with your permission. Yeah. Uh, okay. So one one was saved, and now I uh, look at. You say it's not a good uh, example, but I will uh, focus on this hill here, this small okay. hill. Okay. You're okay. Not to, yeah, it's the piece. Okay. Okay. So. You know that the gradient, uh, let me see. Okay, I will try to, this is the gradient. You see my point here? <laughs> it, it's always the, how do you say this word in English? Perpendicular, Perpendicular to the, what we yeah. call level line, yeah. but we know, God knows so, what it's really say. Yeah, uh, let, let, let's uh, write it like, uh, the gradient, oh shoot, what happened? Ah, I know, just a minute. I need to make it bigger. Okay, now smaller. Okay, so we were talking about the 
loss, right? The, the gradient of loss. Mm -hmm. uh, a loss. Uh, it's a vector, right? It's a two dimensional vector. And mm -hmm. uh, let me use the pen. Uh, it's um, what is it? It's a, the vector of partial derivatives, right? It's yes. uh, like a D of a loss. Uh, with respect to A, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, this now, vector. You need a theorem from calculus two, a very basic theorem. Mm -hmm. This is the direction in which you the better go if you want to go up. Yes, so no calculus, loss. So okay. Yeah. Calculus tell us that the gradient always points to the steepest direction, right? Yes. This is a theorem, and it's not so trivial. You, you should explain the, the it's your a theorem. audience. It is a theorem. You should explain what did I say? Yes, your audience that they are not supposed to see it right away if they haven't seen it before. No, no, it's not trivial, but it's not uh, hard to show. No, no, it's once it's you just, learn uh, calculus too, you know it. Yes. Yeah, it, it's a, an inner product. You can see it with an inner product, yes, right? Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. And also, calculus also tell us that uh, uh, if you uh, go to in a, per, say this word again, perpendicular. Sorry, perpendicular, what? Yeah, perpendicular. What, I what cannot word? say. If calculus tells us that if you go to a, per, with a to perpendicular to the gradient, you will not change the loss, right? Yes, you like stay the, the same uh, on the same level. Yes. Yes, same exactly. Level. And also, if you look, if you go to the opposite direction, you will go to the steepest uh, uh, direction down, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. The, all that uh, calculus tells us. And uh, we're going to use it in a very greedy fashion. So uh, you call it a stupid traveler, right? We're going to yes. act as a stupid traveler. But on the average, they do OK, these stupid. Uh... <laughs> the, all the stupid people are doing fine on the average. On the average. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so um, that's very deep. Yes. Uh, there is okay, so so, that. Oh, look at all these stupid people. <laughs> no. You you want to write a song about the Beatles, it? What? Sorry. Ah, the Beatles already. All the, the stupid uh, people uh, are fine and average. That's what the Beatles said. <laughs> anyway, no, no. <laughs> I'm referring to Elena Rigby. Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay. So that was my uh, uh, very sad attempt to draw gradients here on uh, your Avrofer's uh, map. So this is a gradient, right? Uh, what about the norm of the gradient? The norm of the gradient also have uh, a meaning, right? Like it's a steepness. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. The so it, yes. the slope, exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, in uh, topographic maps, how do we see a high slope and small slope? Uh, it's the density of uh, density, the, yes. density right? Of, uh, like, lines. have you ever visited this Merkad uh, Mevakrim? This, uh, of course, yes. But uh, yeah. what I remember there, there is a, how do you call it, Matsok? Uh, yeah, a, a and very the, high cliff and very abyss and cliff, one. right? Yeah. Yeah, and which and it all beautiful. breaks down because there are no derivatives. Okay. No derivative. What What did you suggest? It? That on the cliff uh, there are no derivatives. It's not even. Uh, ah, not it's even not continuous. even a function. There, it's like it's a function. Yeah. That's continuous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but okay. Is it like that in the Mitzvah Ramon? I'm not sure. Yes, there is. Uh, it's like a vertical cliff. Yes, yes, at some points. Yes. Okay, so uh, I don't think it's vertical. You know how I know it's not vertical? I see this. Yeah, okay. If it was vertical, what would have been happening in the, this uh, topographic map? Mm -hmm. 
You, you see, I have all the information just in front of my eyes. You cannot trick me. Okay. <laughs> but it, it, it is very, very dense, right? Mm -hmm. So if I will uh, draw uh, the gradient here, it will be a big vector, right? A what? A big, uh, like... A large... The, the, the norm of the, the gradient here will be big. Yes. In, in comparison to uh, here, for example, which is less dense, it will be smaller, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so the, gra the gradient size tell us uh, about the steepness of uh, the direction we are going. So suppose we are uh, just uh, stupid travelers, and we start uh, here, for example, and we are acting completely greedy. We, we calculate the gradient here and we go here. There's also a, 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 an important question of what the size of the step we are doing because we are running an algorithm. Each time we calculate the gradient, we go along with it and then we calculate it again. So it will look like uh, this, right? From here, to mm -hmm. here, I don't know, from here, it will be like that. And there will be a, a question of what's the size we're taking. It, no, note that if the size is too big, we might be jumping over the top, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, and if it's too small, it might take us a long time to convert, right? Mm -hmm. hey, Ori, I, I'll yes. give you, some uh, um, limitation in 10 minutes or so I have to go, I have to leave. This is we fine. We can continue okay. later. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, sure, it's fine, it's fine. 10 minutes is fine. Yeah. So uh, we call this uh, the size of the step, the learning rates. This is a, an important uh, parameter. It's, it's uh, you can do many things. The, the size of the step uh, cannot be, fixed, it can change, it can vary, but uh, you, you, you do see that the size of the step matters, right? It's might But now you are going into the details before you, so far you've been doing a broad brushes, broad, how do you call it, um, brush strokes. Now you're going into the details uh, of how do you use the well, I, I didn't want to go into the detail. I just want to point out that learning rate is important. Yes. I, learn, okay. I mean, okay. So if you're I, very I much off... I the size of the step learning rate. Yes. If you're much, very much off, um, well, I don't know what you should do. <laughs> but when there is a, a large, the gradient is large, it means you're off by a lot, right? I didn't understand what you just said. What do you mean off? Uh, you're not near. No. When, when it's steep, when the mountain is steep. Yeah. When I'm climbing a very steep uh, cliff, for example, yes. Uh, no, no. It means you're near the top, no? Well, uh, what does it indicate for you? That there how are do I know that I find jumps in your improvement? You improve it. You improve it. Uh, I will look at the loss in in order to see the height in is which. Is it a good I'm sign or a bad sign that uh, this this the steep learning curve, as they say? I, I'm sorry, I'm not following what your question. What what do you want to know? Suppose you find out that you're you, you're steep now. The, the where where you are, the mountain is steep. It means you're in the top, top, no? Or in the bottom, whatever you want. Uh, Just a minute. We want, to, we want to find the peak of a mountain, right? Yeah. Or uh, actually, we want to, to find the lowest uh, point in a valley. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, actually, we, we are not doing hill climbing. We do what we call gradient descent. We yes. always follow the negative of the opposite. Uh, the oh, negative if you invert, then you're, it's a mountain. Yes, okay, the top of the mountain. Okay. So what was your question again? Suppose you're Hillary and Tenzing on Himalaya. 
and you are now, you find that you are on a steep part. I think it means in general that you're close to the top. Why do I care about the steepness? I do care about the height, not the steepness, right? I want um, to reach the highest point. I don't need, I don't care that I'm climbing a steep mountain now, right? Uh -huh, okay. But how will I know that I reach like the peak of the mountain that uh, maybe I, the gradient will be zero or mm -hmm. maybe it will uh, be small and each time I will go to another direction and I will understand that I'm on the peak, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And as you said before, it's a greedy algorithm. It's a guarantee to file the local uh, optimum, but not the uh, absolute one, right? Mm -hmm. Also, I can run it uh, many times from a different point and it will uh, make the chances, chances I will find the global optima better, right? Mm -hmm. Each time for me. Uh, by the way, uh, th this is a question for you, which I'm very interested. Suppose it was not two dimensional, but very high dimensional. Mm -hmm. My feeling is that local uh, minimum are uh, more rare in high dimension. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. There is no reason. You know why I think so? I will tell you why I think so. Because you will have more subtle points. In order for the uh, point to... Uh, Ukaf. Yes. Yeah, let, let, let me explain you why I think so. Suppose we are in a very high dimensional uh, uh, function. Mm -hmm. In order for a, a local uh, minimum to occur, you need all the second derivative to have the same sign, right? Like all of all of the functions should be curved or uh, concurved. If one of them is not like all the other, it's a subtle, right? Subtle. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, what is the subtle point in in? Uh, it's subtle how do point you know is it's not a subtle a, point. An optimum. In a settle, you can go to one direction and uh, and uh, improve yourself. Yeah. So yeah. this is kind of an intuition that in high dimension, there will be less uh, a local minimum. But uh, just an intuition of mine, but maybe I'm wrong. The fact is that uh, uh, deep learning is uh, working much better than uh, people suppose it to have. The problem of uh, uh, running into local minimum is very rare. Well. Doesn't happen. So, yeah, as I said, on the average, it doesn't happen. There's no reason. Pardon? On the average, so if you look at an average mountain, then uh, it's very rare to find a local, yeah, so a crate. Uh, that, but that's a local minimum. That's not. Uh, but you are thinking now on. Uh, look at your mountains uh, near you. Three dimension, right? I'm, I'm just looking over here and yes. from my windows, window on the yes. mountains near me. There's no local yes. minimum, which is uh, not uh, total. Uh, yeah, nothing. in from your window, you see many local uh, optimal, right? Like no, no. You see, you no. you see no, like if I go, the, the water see to it that if I go in this. They will continue going to the to lower. The water goes lower all the time, so we, it never happens. It's very rare that you have the local minimum. But, but Ron, if you feel, if you will find the peak of a mountain, mm -hmm. it won't be the highest mountain in Israel. In Israel, right? yes. Uh -huh. And right. I'm looking so for local, the highest yeah, mountain. There is a difference Israel. between local and minimum. That's very interesting. So local maximum that are not maximum, of course, there are many, but those are hills, these are called hills. But minimal, it doesn't work because I think it's the effect of the water, right? You, you have to have a lake at such a point. So uh, the Kinneret is perhaps, even it is not a local, only Yamamelach, but it's also no. Uh, I'm not following what you said. You're saying I'm saying what that there is the an asymmetry Yamela? between uh, between local maxima and local minima. Local maxima, you have many. 
La Farina ah. in, in the ah, mountains ah, here. Now I get it. Uh, but you're what? thinking on uh, on Israel and on uh, geographical scenery, and we are talking about general functions, right? Yes, yes. So ah. uh, uh, I don't know if you're right, but there are not okay, many we'll, local minimum. Okay. Okay. I'm interested in knowing that, but uh, anyway, uh, suppose you are in an uh, A and B now. Mm -hmm. Like this is a location in your on your surface, mm -hmm. and you want to update it. You want to uh, to move to the second point, and what you do is like we talked about it. You take A and you enter it. You 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 put it in uh, the the previous A minus a learning rate L R multiplied by the gradient. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. The air loss minus is because we are doing gradient descent and not gradient ascent. Uh, is this clear what I've just written here? Uh, not quite. DA, what is this DA at the bottom? It, it's a partial derivative of loss in respect to A. Okay. I will write the same for B. Okay. So this is the update rule. Okay. Uh, that that's a uh, one step. Is it clear? And this or? LR is not very clear to me. What is this? Okay. So without this LR, suppose LR equals one. What okay. will happen? I will move each step in in the norm of the gradient, right? Yes. Okay. If I want to move a, a smaller step, like right. so half you, the you, norm. Okay. Okay. So it's like the fraction of the norm that I will actually move, right? Okay. You. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah, it's a moderating term. Okay. Moderate. Makes the mo okay. motion moderate. Okay. Okay. So this is the update uh, uh, step, uh -huh. and uh, I will need to find a, a criteria to stop, which will be like a, a, a zero gradient, or if I'm not uh, improving much. And this is the the basic idea. I okay. think we're gonna the, be the, the bird's basic idea are a good place to stop. Yeah, exactly. I, I would like to stop, and I, and I would like to thank you very much for your help. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. So, see, see you next time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> bye so bye. It was actually ah. very clear this time. Oh, great, great. Well, well done this time. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.